as we as proceed, we proceed to give you what you need. This is Sam Barnes from Staten Island Hurricanes, four-time national champions, about to be five-time national champions, maybe even six if we can get two this year. You're tuned in to the youngest sports reporter in the nation, the Q Boogie Sports Show. Keep it right here. Start the Hurricanes was um, we used to coach out at Little League called Staten Island Pee Wee. And the, over at Staten Island Pee Wee, they didn't really have the type of um, adult uh, role models that I agreed with. So, what I wanted to do, I wanted to start an organization that <clears throat> where the kids had role models that they could be coached by. And um, we wanted to build young boys and turn them into men. And we, we wanted to really, really have a, we want to have an education that is based solely on sports and education. And at that particular league, they didn't have it. How long have you been coaching youth football? Uh, let me see, I've been coaching youth football for a long time. I, think I was coaching youth, I started coaching youth football when I was 13 years old. And um, my younger brother used to play for my football team. We used to have a football team in my neighborhood. It wasn't very organized, but it was basically the older guys coaching the younger guys. So I always liked coaching sports since I was 13. Okay, question number three. Have you ever coached any other sports besides football? I attempted to coach basketball, but... I yelled too much, you know, it's, it's constant yelling, you constant yelling. So I was an assistant basketball coach one time, but that's as close as I got. I, I'm really a football coach. Okay. Uh, what, what division do you coach? Um, I've coached, I've coached every division. I've coached Mighty Mike Junior PVP and Junior Midget. This particular year, I'm going to coach the PV division. As a coach, what do you expect from your players? I expect my players to give me 100%, you know, 100 percent effort. If you jump off sides, jump off sides, 100 miles an hour. You know, everything. We, I, I only ask them to give me 100 percent and and get. Don't step on my field with any fear in your heart, right? I don't care if you're not athletic. I don't, you know, I don't care if you can't catch that well or anything. You can't be scared. So give me 100% and clear your heart of all fear. Uh, how many nets have you played? Titles? 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 Well, the Staten Island Hurricanes have four national titles. I myself have one of the four. I have a Division One national team. Okay. I scored 440 <laughs> points as a Pee Wee coach. Okay, go ahead. What's that? Well, I only gave up six <laughs> points. As a PB coach. Alright, back. What are the what are the top ten teams that you like in the band? That, that's a broke. That's a, 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 a let me see. Just favorite as far as like I like that organization, like I like that organization to do a good job. Unfortunately they aren't top ten teams that I that I I like in the big apple. I respect all of them. I don't I don't like 10 team. There's not 10 teams that I think are doing a good job. I think they all are out for the kids and they do what they do for the kids. But 10 programs that I think are, that are doing a good job. Um, I like the Renegades. They do a good job. Um, I like the Brooklyn Chiefs. They do a good job. Uh, I like the Ravens. Um, 
those are like those are like the three organizations that I think really, you know, they they go hard for the kids after football. You know, they really focus on getting their kids in the schools, and I think it's really important to those organizations. So there's a new organization out there. They're called the Hornets. I like that organization. I like what they do. I like what their program does. Uh, I like the Springfield Rifles. Right. Springfield Rifles right do a great job too. What is your favorite team to compete against? My favorite team to compete against might be the Brooklyn Chiefs. I like to see Coach Just. Yo, Sam, you ain't gonna sweep me again. <laughs> so we put, actually play a holiday ball. We have a trophy that we pass back and forth. He's never had it in his house, ever. It's always stayed on the Staten Island Hurricane side, but we have a lot of fun when we play. We have a, a, a winning record against the Chiefs, but I like playing against the Chiefs because it's just fun. It's a day, it's a fun field, it's a day of fun football, and the coaches and the staffs and everyone gets along. There's never any animosity, whether we win or lose. What's your favorite team in the NFL? NFL? Sixburn. Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers, baby. Pittsburgh Steelers. Sixburg Steelers. Sixburg Steelers. Okay. That's the best football franchise ever. Uh, better so than nice. better than the Giants. Uh, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite NFL team? Favorite team? Yeah. My favorite NFL player right now. Hopefully he'll be reinstated this year. That's Michael Vick. That's my favorite NFL player. All the way down to my Michael Vick sneakers. Okay. What is your favorite NBA team? Mm -hmm. yeah. What? The Knicks! <laughs> 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 no, Unfortunately. <laughs> my favorite NBA team are the New York Knicks, and we will be world champions. Someday. Yeah, we're awesome. gonna get we're gonna get LeBron James. What is your favorite NBA player? My favorite NBA player is Kobe Bryant. Yes, I have to give it to him. I don't like the Lakers. Oh, 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 but you gotta give me some Kobe, man. I give you Kobe oh, love, yeah. but not, not Laker love. <laughs> oh, you I can't give you no Laker love. You're a okay. Laker fan, right? Yeah, I'm a Laker fan, but I'm a Kobe fan. Okay, yeah, Kobe's my favorite. Okay. Uh, what do you think about Michael Vick? I think Michael Vick changed the game of football as we know it. I think he changed the quarterback position as we know it. I think Michael Vick, first of all, he's the first player to rush for a quarterback to rush for a thousand yards in the season. Um, they put a new offense in the in the NFL called the Wildcat offense. It's when the quarterback takes the direct snap from the center and they run downhill. That offense is based all around, around Michael Vick. You know, I think Michael Vick, what he did, he obviously broke the law. Um, the dog fighting. Um, I think, but I, I feel like he grew up, and the way he grew up, dog fighting really probably didn't really, wasn't a big deal, you know? And I think if it was anyone other than Michael Vick, he, they never would have went to jail with because he was a celebrity and he was involved with dog fighting, they made him an example. What is the most important message you would like to get across to your players? Most important message I want to get to across to my players is education. You know, it's important for you to get good grades in school. It's important for you to get good 7th grade grades, 8th grade grades, get into a good high school, go on and get into a good college, and if you don't go and play NFL ball, you get a great degree, you get a great job, and you become a positive citizen, you know? Mm -hmm. Education. Thank you, um, Coach and Bob. Thank you for your time. Now I got a question for you. Alright, alright. One. One question. <laughs> Will the Staten Island Hurricanes finally win a Mighty Might Championship? This is El Boogie from the Cleveland Squad Channel.